whether it's coral reefs like here or whether it feeding areas for whales and other marine mammals like the Gulf of the Farallones in California. Each of these are critical parts of a larger marine ecosystem. Be sure to visit our website at sanctuaries.noaa.gov to learn more about our sanctuary system. I am your host, Kate Thompson, and we are broadcasting today from the Aquarius Reef Base headquarters run by our partner, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. For this year's mission, we are also partnering with the National Association of Black Scuba Divers and scientists from the University of Connecticut and California State University Monterey Bay and also NOAA's National Centers for Coastal and Ocean Science to evaluate the condition of concrete. Through continuous studies of the diversity of life on the reef, researchers are trying to understand the impacts of changing conditions on the reef animals. The ocean is vastly unexplored, and it is connected to all that we do. So that is why we are here trying to understand it. Keep an eye on our program schedule on the OceansLive.org website. Follow the Office of National Marine Sanctuaries on Facebook and Twitter, and also check out all the great teaching material and links on our mission page that will lead to other great resources. One other really cool component of this year's mission will be our programming in Spanish. Today our Spanish shows will be at 1.30 and 4.30 Eastern Time, so make sure to tune in. Yesterday we learned about group foraging and how fish work together to feed and protect themselves while eating. Today we are honored to have a very special guest with us on the program, Congresswoman Ileana ross Leighton from Florida. Welcome, Congresswoman. How are you? Hey, thanks so much, Kate. I'm very happy to be here, and thank you to uh, all the wonderful students at Coral Way School in Miami. Thank you so much. So, hey, Coral Way. Say hi to the Congresswoman. <laughs> oh, there we go. We can see you. All right. <laughs> So, as a U.S. congressional representative, how do you protect the ocean? Well, like many of our, our students who are watching us and going to be interactive with us, I grew up around the ocean. I was born in Cuba. Of course, that's an island surrounded by water. Came to Miami, went to a school similar to Coral Way, went to uh, Southside Elementary with the ocean just right next door. So I came to know it and value it. And even as an adult, I'm still learning more about the ocean. The more you know, the more you want to know about how to protect ocean life and coral reef and all of the fish life. So I heard a crazy rumor that you're actually a diver. Well, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm going to have the great opportunity to once again dive down 60 feet to go with the uh, Aquarius, uh, the Aquanauts and uh, learn more about ocean life. So I know all of you viewing out there are all excited to get an update for our Aquanauts and the status of Hurricane Paula, which has actually downgraded now to a tropical depression. Yeah. So let's go down to Aquarius with one of our tech divers, Roger, to get an update on storm preparations. Hi, Roger. How are things going on down there 60 feet below the surface? Hi, Kate. How are you? Uh, it's nice to be with you this morning and with... Uh uh, Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton, hey, and Roger. I also understand that uh, we're, we have some very smart uh, and cool sixth and eighth graders from Coral Way K through eight school in Miami. Is that right? So I'd like to say hi to them too as well. Yeah. Back to you, Kate. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. So could you tell us a little bit about the hurricane and how it's actually downgraded to a tropical storm depression now? That's good news, right? Yeah, we're really glad about that. Uh, we've been tracking the storm, uh, of course, uh, for several days, even since last week. Um, but uh, we just continually hear, are, are hearing good, good news about it, and it keeps getting downgraded. So um, we're looking forward to putting these guys back into saturation in the next couple of days. Back to you, Kate. Thanks, Roger, so much. And remember, we will continue broadcasting throughout the week and even get back to the Aquanauts living in the habitat, weather permitting. Now let's get some questions from the students at Coral Way. Do you guys have any questions of Roger? I think we have one right up front, and that's our wonderful helper, Tracy Hyduke. Hi, Trace. Unmute the mics. 
Okay. Oh, uh, why did you decide to do this project? Why did we decide to do this project? Well, I'll actually answer that question. This project is very special to us because we want to highlight not only the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary and all these wonderful, the wonderful habitat and ecosystems we have out here, but you know, those ecosystems are having a hard time and we're trying to bring awareness to all of you at Coral Way as West, as also the rest of the United States to say, hey, we all impact the ocean and everything that we do. Even in your backyard in North, Do North Dakota, you impact the ocean through the watershed. And so we, we just wanted to bring better awareness to both the ocean, the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary and other special places across the country, but also the Aquarius habitat and how important it is to be able to teach people about the science as well as the technology and what it takes to be able to put people under the ocean to live. And we also wanted uh, to bring, of course, the wonderful Congresswoman here because she feels this stuff is very important as well. So, well, and the uh, important thing to know, Kate, and for our students to know, is that you don't have to be a scientist and, and trained uh, individuals to, uh, to know how you can save the ocean. And understanding the ocean is one way to save the ocean. The more you know, the more you want to protect our ocean life for the future generations. And this is living organisms all around us, so you don't have to be a scientist. Yeah. Kate is way